Good morning guys, welcome to another London vlog. It's so good to be home, back in my own kitchen. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I haven't had a coffee this morning. We went for a lovely long walk on the heath and I have come back starving. I have some things to show you guys that I have discovered this week that have made my life a lot easier and a lot happier. Over the last year and a half, I have had these spots on my upper back and they've kind of moved to my upper arm. I hadn't had this before and it kind of started when I started drinking normal milk again. I'd have semi-skim milk for the last year, I'd say. So I'm thinking like the only reason these spots started to form on my back and upper arms is maybe because of dairy because we all know dairy is made for baby cows and maybe humans shouldn't really be drinking baby cows milk, but I don't know. I never had a problem with dairy really, but I'm just gonna see if normal milk links to my upper back spots. If not, then I can drink normal milk and I do love normal milk, but I have discovered, well, Bash found it for me, this Plenish Barrister Almond Milk. And the reason I started stirring away from non-dairy milks is because of all the oils in the milk, seed oils, which are so, so bad for you. However, this non-dairy milk has no oils, it's organic. So this is probably the healthiest non-dairy milk we have found. And it's a barrister version, so this almond milk will get frothy. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, I don't like almond milk because it's quite watery and I feel the same, but this one is a different story. And then one of my lovely, lovely subscribers sent me a message on Instagram saying, oh, I saw you, like you speak about your gluten intolerance. Sorry. Oh, I definitely just broke my drawer. Oh no. Okay, let's just leave that. One of my lovely subscribers said, I see you have a gluten intolerance because you talk about it. Please try this bread. I am so grateful for her because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to this lovely, lovely lady. I went on the website that she sent me. It's called the Bakery by Knife and Fork. They have gluten-free sourdough bread. Guys, when you buy store-bought gluten-free bread, it's horrible. It's dry, the texture is horrible. But this stuff, I have already tried it. I got three flavors. I put one loaf in the freezer and then I got this chocolate and toasted hazelnut gluten-free loaf. So it's kind of like naughty if I'm ever feeling like a little sweet something. But today I'm going to make avocado on toast with this gluten-free seeded sourdough. And look how cute the packaging is. Packaging is everything, guys. It feels very dense, this bread. It feels quite hard. But honestly, when you slice into it and you eat it by slice, it's so soft and it's so good. It's the best gluten-free bread I have had in my life so far. So happy days. I can finally have bread for breakfast. Look how frothy. It's the almond milk, that's really good. Also, this particular milk is gonna save me so much money because I'm not gonna feel tempted to go and buy a coffee when I'm out now because I know that I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna to stick to my almond milk. And let's see, let's see if it helps my back spots. Because if that's linked to the milk that I've been drinking, I'll be mind blown. Okay, so time to make some avocado on toast. I have not made this for you guys. I used to have this all the time when I was younger. So I kind of make mine in my own special way and I'm excited to show you. So I'm gonna start off with my base with cherry tomatoes. You don't need too many as you don't want the bread to get too soggy as cherry tomatoes or just tomatoes in general are very wet. Okay, so I've really just roughly chopped up these tomatoes. I just remembered I have cheddar cheese, so I'm gonna make like a avocado and toast, tomato, cheese, toasty kind of vibe, but not toasted together. You'll see what I mean, you'll see what I mean. I like chopping up the ingredients first because I like the taste of warm bread. If I leave everything till last, then the toast will just go 
cold. So I kind of want everything to be ready and prepared so I can just slap it onto the bread and I can eat it straight away. This avocado is massive. Oh my goodness, it's so ripe that the pip just rolls out. I scooped half an avocado out of the skin and I'm just gonna make really thin slices. Luckily I can do this because the avocado is so ripe, but you can't always do it this smoothly. I just, I haven't had bread in so long that this is just such a treat. I think I might have to do an order at this place once a week because I can already tell it's gonna change my life. Okay, this wasn't as tidy as I thought, but it doesn't matter, it's all good. It's gonna get mushed up anyway. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do mushed up avocado or sliced avocado, but because the slicing didn't work out how I wanted it, we're gonna mash it all up. Oh my goodness, this is perfect for avocado on toast, this avocado. Oh, what a dream. Okay, so I'm gonna just drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over the avocado and the tomatoes. I love extra virgin olive oil. It is honestly, it makes everything taste so good and so fresh. And it glistens, it's like golden liquid. Okay, let's season it with some salt. And then I'm going to mix in like a tiny, tiny bit of fresh garlic in with the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna season the avocado with some lemon. Literally the tiniest bit because it's raw and you don't want your breath to stink throughout the day as it is the morning. We're not going to bed. We have to talk to people today and we have to see people. Lemon, talking about seeing people. After this, I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna go and see my friend Rosie. You guys have met her on one of my previous London vlogs. She's my best mate and I haven't seen her in over a week, so it'll be nice to catch up. And then I have a shoot later on today. I have a lovely Dior look to shoot. And then I'm gonna see my family. So it'll be a very productive, wholesome Saturday morning. Well, Saturday day and morning. This is how we're looking. Cherry tomatoes avocado. Very annoying. One thing I don't have is a cheese slicer. And in Norway, cheese slices are huge. Everyone has a cheese slicer no matter what. So I'm just going to have to slice my cheese with a knife, but it's not going to give me that really thin sliced effect. It's going to be quite thick. That's probably the thinnest I can get it. And it's going to break, isn't it? When I peel that off. No, it's not. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to prepare about six of these three per toast. Yeah, I'd say three is enough. And I'm not gonna put my toast in the toaster today. I'm gonna put it in a frying pan to get it extra crispy. And that way the cheese can melt in the pan. Bash, are you joining us for breakfast? Yes. What are you making? I'm gonna have uh, chicken sausages. I don't know, eggs of some sort. You don't want avocado on toast with gluten-free bread? No, I'm good. Oh. Okay guys, let's cut this bread. I'm a freak. I have to clean around myself when I'm cooking. If it's, if it's messy and there's crumbs everywhere, I cannot focus. Like I'd rather take a long time to cook than cook around mess. Okay, let's slice this bread to the best of my ability. I'm not gonna lie. I do prefer it when bread is already sliced because I am Awful at slicing bread. Okay, I think I want three bits of bread today for breakfast because I'm feeling very hungry. <gasps> Look how good, gluten-free. And they've got seeds in and I love seeded bread. Okay, I need to speed this up because I need to be getting ready in 10 minutes. I want to eat and I want to cook. Oh gosh, it's gonna be stressful. I want my breads to be crispy. I don't want it to be toasted. Okay, I'm gonna like add the tiniest, tiniest bit of extra virgin olive oil in the pan. And then we're gonna warm that up. I should do butter, right? What was I thinking? No, but I'm doing like no dairy because of my back spots. But butter is a really good idea. Say hey guys. Hiya. Hi guys. Thanks for following Sarah. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. The side I placed down is getting nice and toasted. So I'm gonna add some more extra virgin olive oil on the other side. This stuff's just so good. Palestinian olive oil. Yeah, this is Zaytown from Palestine. 
hand-picked and rain-fed with warm, peppery taste. And when I just tasted it pure, I can really feel the peppery taste down the like, center of my throat. Do you want a shot of extra virgin olive oil? It's really good for you. Sure. You know what? Put it on my yogurt. You want me to put it on your yogurt? Fuck it. <laughs> there you go. How is it? Good. Mmm. And with the salt as well. You taste the, the honey, the extra virgin olive oil and the salt. Ooh. Mm. Give me some more. Give that me some more. Bash, that's me. This is how the toasts are looking, guys. It's looking dry, but I promise it's gonna be good. I am doing this in a non-stick pan, by the way. I feel like if I were to do this in a normal pan, it would probably just get stuck. And I know non-stick isn't the best, I know. But I can't be 100% healthy all day, every day. Let's get the cheese on. Oh, guys, I just love food so much. I'm gonna place the lid over this so that the cheese melts. Mm. The cheese has melted enough for me now. I'm kind of in a rush, so this will have to do. One, two, three. Let's add the good stuff onto our toast. Okay, so I just added the chopped tomatoes onto the toast and then I started piling on the avocado i'm sorry i'm now in a rush i do not be, like being late when someone tells me a time that i have to be somewhere i will be there on time i find it so disrespectful when people are late because you're, look you're taking up people's time not everyone has time to be just stood around waiting for you and also punctuality is so important in life whether you're starting a new job you're at school you get rewards for being on time trust me I'm gonna squeeze lemon. I'm gonna add some chili flakes. I like that little kick. Some more extra virgin olive oil. This looks like a Picasso painting. This looks amazing. You guys have probably seen these all over Instagram, but I got my very own Rode phone case with the, I'm gonna say plugged in lip gloss by Hailey Bieber. Honestly, I think this is one of the smartest inventions made in the beauty world in the last however many years because how smart to put a product on a phone case a phone is something that you use all the time you're bound to use your lip gloss twice as much so yeah i think it's so cool my extensions are pretty much ready to come out now the texture is just so horrible when i have my hair down so that just means i've had my hair in for way too long. I'm gonna get them taken out next week and I'm gonna be so sad when I won't have long hair anymore. So I just kind of like wanna make the most out of having long hair. Look how cute these little bows are at the bottom of my plaits. Yeah, I just wanted to try something different. I'm wearing a really weird outfit. I feel very mature. So this is like a matching two piece from APC. And I think it's super cool because of the lace around the waist. And then I am loaning this gorgeous monogram Dior handbag. Sorry guys, I am in such a rush. I do not want to be late. I just took way too long making my avocado on toast. If Rosie's like, Sarah, why are you so late? I'll just be like, I was making avocado on toast for these guys. These are so cute to place around serviettes. Hi, Rosie. Hello. <laughs> <gasps> like a salad bowl. Mm. Nice. And you can put all your lemons in it. I am obsessed with these. That's They're so like cool. tortoise shell handles. and we are just shooting this Dior look. I'm gonna show you the outfit. This blazer is very cool. It's very straight, but what makes it cool are these like frayed hems. Can you see? And on the skirt as well, we have it there at the bottom. It's like a very rugged, edgy, frayed bottom. So I guess that's what makes the look very cool. The Dior monogram bag, which I was wearing earlier. 
And then just a very simple plain white shirt. And I'm shooting with tequila. Yes. Are you happy to be in my shoot? <laughs> she looks very confused. Oh, you tired. You tired, baby. Mm. Right, let's get shooting. I think that's probably one of the quickest shoots I have done in a very, very long time. We got these shots within the space of 15 minutes or something, which I like. I like it to be nice, quick and easy. I'm going to get changed and I'm going to go and see my parents and my niece and my sister and just to have some family time. Bye for today. gym that was probably the best workout I've done in such a long time I don't know what happened to me but I just had an uncontrollable amount of energy and I could have ran forever to the point I had to stop myself from running because I was like if I carry on running I'm just not gonna get on with the rest of my day so here we are in the kitchen and I'm gonna make myself a smoothie okay so I've never made a smoothie before that's a lie. I haven't made a smoothie in like maybe a year. Bash always makes my smoothies for me. Some crushed ice into the blender. I've got some frozen apricots. I thought that apricots went well with frozen mango, so we'll blitz a few of those. They look like that. And then do one, two, three, four. Now time for the organic mango our bananas are not looking very ripe so it's just good that we get rid of them in in a smoothie because i'm not enjoying those and then i'm going to add some almond milk i'm trying to do no dairy milk for like maybe a month because of the spots on my back like i mentioned earlier i'll show you guys what i mean by the spots on my back i never used to have them and they've just got really bad lately so i'm thinking maybe it's because of dairy and I've got some bee pollen. If you haven't had this before, I would describe it as having chunks of rock hard honey. That's probably the closest to what it is. So I'm gonna drizzle a few of those. Do you think dates would go well in this bash here? Sure. Or maybe I should use my dates puree. Yeah. If you watch my other videos, I've showed you guys before how I blitz my dates to make like a puree. So I have some of that in the fridge. I'm gonna add this in. This is gonna be so good. I don't even think it needs honey or maple syrup because the fruits are really sweet. We don't need more added sugars. Okay, Bash advised me to what collagens I could place in here. Yeah, yeah, collagen. So collagen is really good for your skin. It's good for your gut, it's good for hair, it's good for your nail growth. So you girls who are trying to get long nails, eat your collagen. And yeah, it apparently like radiates your skin texture. It's just really good for you. So I'm gonna do one of these. And Bash said that I needed more milk and I used the rest of the almond milk. So I'm just gonna add coconut milk. This is gonna be a whole mashup of random stuff. 
And this is gonna be way too much for one person, I just know it. Okay, let's blitz it. Okay, let's give this a taste. It smells good. Oh, it's very thick, but it's okay. I quite like it thick. That's what she said. No. Oh! <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. That's like, it's like drinking a melted mango sorbet. And all of the little bee pollen bits kind of stay intact. So you get like a little crunch whilst you sip. I need a straw for it. This is gonna be so good for the summer when it's hot outside and you need to cool down. Not that we ever get that in the UK, but occasionally you do. Bash just gave me the idea to add some extra milk into this so that I have a little bit more to store for tomorrow morning. So I just blended in some more milk and it made it a little less icy, which is quite good. And that will be coming in very handy for tomorrow. Frying myself an egg. I'm gonna butter my toast, my gluten-free bread, and then I'm gonna add avocado, tomatoes, and have that fried egg on the side. I wish I had time to make breakfast like this all the time. This is like a breakfast for queens. So I'm gonna put the egg on top, and then we have like a half sandwich. Mm. This gluten-free bread has changed my life. My nails are in absolute state, guys. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk the dog first and then I'm gonna go and get my nails done. I'm dressed very cozy because today is a running errands day. We're not shooting anything. So I'm gonna get my nails done and then I've got to find my sister a birthday present. Oh, I'm so bad at finding presents. Help me. First, we're gonna take this one for a little walkies and a wee wees and a poo poos. Why do you look so worried? You love going for walks. Look, Tequila, once you're on the walk, you're gonna be happy. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you love me? Are you in a mood? What have I done? What have I done to you? All I do is feed you, walk you, play with you, throw sticks for you, and you treat me like this. All right, come, let's go. I just got home from getting my nails done. I just needed to get home and have a complete refresh. I was like, I've got nice new nails. And I was like, I just feel so bummy right now. My hair needs a wash, I'm in a tracksuit. I'm gonna go home and have a complete refresh and that's exactly what I did. I washed my hair. My hair was in a desperate need of a wash. So that's why my hair's looking a bit damp and once it dries it will create those lovely curls that I always try to achieve but right now this is not the kind of curl I want but it's all good. I'm gonna let my skin breathe for the rest of the day just because the skin is not skinning right now. Look at this like oh I've really broken out and I don't know why. I've been so good but you know what it could be something as little as London water that I wash my face with. Could be that I don't know. Anyway, so I managed to get a little last minute appointment for a lymphatic drainage massage, which I'm so excited about, oh my goodness. It's just such a deep tissue massage. It flushes all of like the toxins out and you leave feeling tight and nice. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I also just wanted to get out of my tracksuit, so I put on like a nice little cozy outfit, but like cozy, but a little bit girly at the same time, let me show you. So I'm wearing Bash's Cole Buxton jumper, which I think is so nice. It's like the perfect like long sleeve, long sleeve t-shirt you could call it. And then I've, I've got my Rattenboa 
new leopard print dress on. This is actually a very, very, very old style. It's one of their first styles, but to me, it's like never gone out of fashion. Leopard print has been in for many years and every time I saw this, I was just like, I'm obsessed with the shape. So I've halted it up with a belt and I've kind of like tucked it in and I've tucked the jumper in to give that like really slouchy effect. And then I've styled it with my Miu Miu biker boots. So overall it's quite a cool look, don't you think? Bash is too cute. He messaged me after my massage being like, should we go on a spontaneous cinema trip and let's get an early dinner. So we are off to our favorite restaurant, Baron Jack. You guys have seen it in my vlog before and I'm very, very excited. Spontaneous days are the best. And then after Baron Jack, we are gonna go and watch Dune 2 again for the second time. But this time, Bash has surprised us. Where are we going? We're going to the biggest IMAX screen in the UK. The biggest IMAX screen in the UK. I think it's the biggest screen, yeah. The biggest Ever? In the UK, yeah. Wow, I am so excited. We loved June 2, so we just want, we wanted to see it again anyway. And the fact that we're going to go and watch it in the biggest screen is just so exciting. It's going to be such a vibe. I was having a really, really bad hair day, so just popped on a hat and a jacket because it is actually quite chilly today. I wasn't expecting it to be so cold. This is a leather Prada jacket, which they have kindly loaned me. And then just the same what I was wearing earlier. This is so dressed up for the movies. I never wear things like this to the movies, but we're in such a rush just so that we can cram everything that we want to do into this evening. I'm comfortable though. I feel, feel nice in my bag. How cute. It's part of the Prada Nylon collection. I am obsessed such a nice colour and it goes really nicely with my, my dress. so much food <laughs> i cannot wait we ordered the black hummus chicken rice shirazi salad everything that we are craving i can't wait and we're sat by the bar so we get to watch the open kitchen cook they're making the meats over there and then all the salad bits are made over here my favorite shirazi salad if you go on my Instagram reels lately, you see that I made one. So you can see there how to make it. It's so, so easy and so delicious. So this is Masa Masia and it's a yogurt with like pickled something, pickled onions and really finely chopped up chives of olive oil. Chicken Olivia, which is like a chicken mayo salad with pickles on top. What's this one called here? Cash Madam June. And it's mashed up aubergine with like a yogurt drizzle, walnuts and crunchy onions. You can't come here and not get the black hummus. This is the most elite hummus you'll ever, ever try, ever. This is chicken juja. So it's like chicken off the bone and it's so juicy. You would not believe how good this is. Oh. And then this is rice with saffron rice and crispy rice on top with loads of butter. And then my favorite Shirazi salad. Bash got some barberies on the side, some crushed chilies. So overall, I can already tell you it's a 10 out of 10. Date night. Sarah, what have you done? I had an accident. I'm having an accident. I'm trying to empty this bin bag into the bin and it's just not working. <gasps> Oh, my God. oh, Sarah, Sarah Lysander. 
What have you done? What have you done? It was an accident. guys I just made myself a really quick breakfast I know it doesn't look quick I made some air fried potatoes a whole avocado fried tomatoes a fried egg gluten-free slice of bread and some feta cheese and then it's just got some seasoning on it some salt pepper some lemon some extra virgin olive oil I have quite a busy day today I have an event in the afternoon with Prada. They're hosting a lunch inside Selfridges, which is like a huge department store here in the UK. What else am I doing? I'm gonna go and get my hair taken out. So Sarah is going back to short hair, but it needs to be done because it's, my hair's really been annoying me lately. So for this Prada lunch, I need to leave in 45 minutes. And you're probably wondering, okay, she's going to a lunch. Why is she eating now? Sometimes when you go to these events, you never know what you're gonna get fed and it might not be something particularly healthy. I'm trying to be a little bit healthy at the moment. I'm quite a fussy eater. I don't like everything. For instance, raw fish, I can't do. So I don't know if I'll like the food. So I'm just eating just in case I don't like the food. But don't worry, if I do like the food at lunch, I'll be having food there as well. Yesterday was so good. It was a long, long day, but it was so spontaneous and it was just so fun. Like me and Bash, we haven't really like had a, a date day in a very long time. So I kind of felt like, felt like I was a kid again, going for lunch, going to the movies. And oh my gosh, watching Dune 2 in the IMAX was a whole different experience. Like watching it on a screen that big, you feel so immersed within the movie. You'd kind of like, be so sucked into the movie, you felt like you were walking up the desert mountains, you felt like you were a part of the movie. It was so cool and I'm so happy that we got to experience Dune 2 in the IMAX. So when number three comes out, I know where we'll be booking that movie. And I cannot stop thinking about Bear and Jack. You know you had a good meal when you think about it the next day or even it being the first thing that's on your mind when you wake up. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit lame. It was so good. I love that place because it's so casual. You can eat with your hands. I love a place where you don't feel like you have to be like prim and proper. Like you can just like go in, eat with your hands. You can share. It just feels so casual and so laid back. It was perfect. We were in and out within an hour. And that's what I like. I'm not really the one to sit at a restaurant and like have a chat. I'm there purely for the food. Obviously I'm there for Bash's comfort and company. But like when we both 
go out to eat together, we're there for the food. We're like, we're not messing around. Okay, we'll order a starter, then we'll have a conversation. And then once the starter's eaten, then we'll go on to the, like choosing what we want for a main course. No, 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 no. It's all about ordering what we want, eating, and then just like being out in fresh air because we're in a huge food coma and we're like, and breathe. I have a question though. Do you guys think cinema is dying? Like, do you prefer to watch a new Hollywood movie or a new feature film in the comfort of your own home, which is so nice? Or do you prefer like taking a day out, going to the cinema and you kind of, you treat it as more of a special experience because when you're at home watching a movie from the comfort of your sofa. Hi Tequila, how are you? It's easier to get distracted by checking your phone, maybe going downstairs for a cup of tea, whatever. Whereas in a cinema, you have to sit there and you have to watch a movie and you really get into it a lot more. That's what I think. But don't get me wrong. Oh, baby, you're too cute. Don't get me wrong. I love watching movies at home. And if I can avoid going to like the local cinema, I sometimes will. But if it's like a really amazing movie like June, I'm like, no, I'm watching that in the cinema. I will wait and watch that on the big screen. But yeah, it makes me sad that the cinema is dying and online streaming is kind of taking over because there's a spark of magic from like to go into the cinema. I just finished eating. Now let's go and get dressed for a lunch with Prada. <laughs> As if I'm saying I'm going for a lunch after I've just had a brunch. This is the Prada dress that they have loaned me for the event. Okay, it's not very me. I feel like it's a little bit outdated in terms of my style because I feel like this would suit like a 40 or a 50, 60 year old just due to the cowl neckline. These cowl necks, I personally don't think suit me. And I think that they like age me a little bit. They make me look older than I actually am, but I do love the floral print. I love it. it's like a vintage effect. Kind of looks like it's from a vintage shop. And then this buckle detailing here makes it a little bit younger and more fun. So I do think that is cool. But then they styled it with these tights. These are like pink floral tights. Again, not very my style, but you can't really see it under the dress. And then I styled it with my own Mew Mew biker boots. They did give me these gold kitten heels, but I just didn't think it was very me and I just want to feel as comfortable as possible. But you saw me wear this yesterday evening. This jacket is about to make the outfit look a whole lot different. So this Prada leather jacket just makes it all look a lot cooler. Look at that. Very cool. Now I feel a lot more myself. What do you guys think? Would you wear this? Would you go for the pink tights or would you just do a black tight or would you do no tight? Let me know. But I think it's okay. It's quite, what's the word? Eccentric, this look. But I love it. I love it. With the jacket, I do. <laughs> and the boots make it look really, really cool. Okay, bags. They've loaned me this bag and this is how they styled this look with this netted crochet bag or I could style it with my very own nylon Prada bag. What do you guys think? I think maybe let's keep the black theme going on. So I will go for the bag that they did loan with the look, but I do think this is nice because it goes with the belt detailing, the browns and all that, but I'm gonna be a good girl and <laughs> dress how the look is styled. And I think that's really cute. And my vlogging camera will fit in here. It's a good size bag, it's perfect. Okay, my car's outside, so let's go. 